Hey everyone, Andrew from Carlson Cash. Today we're going to go through the cash flow analyzer. This app naturally follows the cash position because it uses all of the same data points, but really drills into the detail and is going to be your day to day uh, app that you use to understand what your inflows and outflows are in your cash accounts. There's a lot of new functionality in this app, so we're going to cover the key points and a lot of the key differences between ECC and what we're seeing now in S4 HANA. One of the common themes and one of the key differences that we'll notice when we go through this app is that there's a lot of functionality and flexibility on the user side. You don't have to rely on your IT support team, and a lot of these changes can be done by the user on the fly. Okay, now we're in the system, we'll go into the cash flow analyzer. Okay, now the system is loaded and what we can see at the top of the screen here is these are all the filters that we can use to drive the data that we're viewing in the report down here. Now we'll look down in the report and we can see it is sorted by our currency. So these are the total balances that we're holding in each of these currencies in our accounts. So let's drill into our USD currency. And here we can see all the different company codes that roll up to be this 23 million USD total for our USD currency. So I will open up this company code and I'm gonna open up this disbursement account down here. And so what this is, we can see we drill down from everything within our USD currency, a specific company code. Now looking at our bank account, and the hierarchy of this drill down can be modified. So this is just an example and it can be changed to any way you want it to be. And now we can see all the different balances that we hold in this bank account. What this is, is we start out, here's our opening balance, 38.7 thousand USD. We can see our incoming transactions by our green arrow here, which is our incoming transactions. We have our outgoing transactions that are the red arrows. And then we have our ending balance here. If we want to look into one of these different balances here within our planning levels or our types of activity, we can do that too. So I'm going to click into here. And what we can see also is there's an option to say bank transfer from, bank transfer to. So if we need to fund this account, since it is negative 5.3 million USD, we can do that with this bank transfer to. But for right now, I just want to see what makes up the total number or the total balance we have in our ACH out. Uh, level here. So I'm going to click on check cash flow items. This will bring up our check cash flow items Fiori app. And what this is going to show is everything's filtered. So we view everything that adds up to be this 1.175 million USD outgoing amount. We can also drill into this line item here or any one of these line items. And it's just going to show all the different attributes and tags that we have assigned to each transaction. So this can be done for any item that is within the cash flow analyzer. So now we're going to go back to the cash flow analyzer. And one thing I wanted to highlight in here is we can change the snapshot time. And what this is, is if we want to know any point in a day in the past, we can see what our cash position was. So if we want to look at July 8th, change it to about midday in July 8th, to change our date so we're looking at that day also I'm going to click go and now the report's going to display with what our cash position was at that point in time thanks for watching our video we hope this gave you a good idea on the functionality within the cash flow analyzer if you have any questions feel free to reach out